Over 4,300 feet per second with a 15 grain bullet, let me introduce you to the 17556 KAK cartridge. Hey everybody, we're going to talk today about the 17556 KAK. So the 17556 KAK cartridge was developed by KAK Industries. And like the name says, it's a 17 caliber based on the 556 cartridge. Um, it is neck down. Um, what makes this unique is that, sorry, some problems putting it down there, is that basically with the 17556, let me brighten this up a little bit, um, you can actually start your loads at the levels that 17 Remington maxes out. So let me just show you a comparison here. This is a 223 Remington. This is 17 Remington, notice the neck. The next one, which is this one here, is a 17 Remington Fireball, and the one with the orange tip is the 17 Hornet, and there on the right is the 17556. So if you move this, pop this next to it, look at the difference in case capacity there because of the shoulder as well as the ability for that case to handle the higher pressures. That turns into much faster speeds because you can handle the extra pressure. There is the brass for you. Sorry, I'm trying not to uh, have this kind of go out there. So with that, let me explain to you about their barrels. Okay, so KK Industry sells their uh, one of their barrels, a barrel that I have for $200 each um, on their website. That's kakindustry.com. Um, it is for an AR-15. It is an 18-inch barrel. Okay, got some information here. 18-inch barrel, rifle length gas system, 0.750 gas block. It is threaded, one twenty-eight, one half by 28. And then a 1 and 9 twist, which makes a really nice... Um, for handling the gamut of bullets. I shoot from 15.5 grain all the way up to 25. And I'm going to try some 30s here soon. So along with that being $200, um, they also offer, which you'll need, the Redding, which Redding makes some of the best dies out there when it comes to the uh, you know large commercial places. Uh, two die set, 17556 KK, you get a full length die, which is this one right here. And it is marked, which makes it very nice. And then a seating die. And that also is marked. So you don't have to use a universal seating die or one of the other dies. This kit actually comes with both. Um, so you can set it and forget it when you're using, you know, one particular type of uh, bullet and length um, for a season or whatever it happens to be. So the die sets run $150 for two die set. That's not bad for a custom die set from Redding. Now... What makes this better than the 17 Remington other than speed, which we'll get into that a little bit more. Well, here's what it is. KK Industry sells their once fired 556 brass, which they go ahead and they size, do whatever's necessary to get it to the point where all you need to do is run it through a die. And what's cool about it is you're buying 100 or 200 pieces of brass and they're 35 cents each. Okay, so this brass here, that's my air conditioner going, sorry, is 35 cents each. That's amazing considering the 17 Remington brass, when you can find it, is running anywhere from a little over a dollar a piece to a dollar 54 a piece of brass. And right now, Nasser is the only one who has it available, and they are controlling the, uh, you know, the amount that gets out depending on when they do a run. Now, 17556KK, you know, they work with the 556 cartridge, so they have boatloads of it. And when you buy it, you get it. They always send in a little bit extra, but I want to show you these two. So when you get one, you might notice that the shoulder looks a little bit bumpy here and there. That's not a problem because once you run it through the die, that all smooths out. 
and Cody over at KK Industry has a video on how to set up your dies and everything, but it's really simple. It's just what you do with any other die set. Um, so that is a huge benefit. I mean, huge benefit. Comes in a carton like this. Um, you know, in 200 rounds, what makes it nice at 35 cents a piece, and I'm not saying that's like super cheap to just leave out in the field, but if you are hunting a coyote or, you know, a fox or something like that, you don't have to spend 15, 20 minutes looking for the brass because it's not as painful as losing a 17 Remington, you know, even a 17 Fireball, even a 22, I mean, sorry, a 17 Hornet. Those are more expensive. So, yeah. So, back to the cartridge itself. So, let's move all these out of the way. Let's move in the two cartridges that I loaded for and have been using. So when fall came, I first started out with the 25 grain Hornady hollow point. They are discontinued. However, Berger is releasing their 25 grain hollow point and there are some aftermarket companies that make these hollow points in there. Um, you can also use the 25 grain VMAX. I just prefer the uh, 25 grain hollow point over the 25 grain VMAX when it comes to coyote size and other predator size game. Then come late winter, I switched over to the Hornady 15.5 grain NTX. And the reason why I did that is because we were hitting a ranch, and this will be in another separate video that covers the AGM thermal optic that we were using, the Varmint LRF. Anyways, um, we were in a ranch that was just inundated with jackrabbits. So I thought this, coupled with the AGM in a KK Industry AR-15, which is right there, suppressed, would be an incredible setup for jackrabbits, and it turned out to be perfect for it. So that was something where it was a deliberate choice to go to that bullet. And the other thing is, with that lighter bullet, I mean, I know Cody has gone up to like 4,600 feet per second. I was right around like 43, 4,400 feet per second and it is absolutely devastating because as varmint hunters, of course, we want the animal to not suffer. We want it to die as quickly as possible. Well, this does that. And as far as saving the meat, you hit up in the shoulder, head, you know, area like that, not a problem. I don't personally eat jackrabbits but we had them all set up, came back the next day, they were all gone. And we had hunted till three o'clock in the morning. So nothing goes to waste, remember that. So back to the 17556 and their setup. So KAK Industries not only sells barrels, but they sell other items as well. Um, uppers, uh, full rifles, all that stuff. And they have different options in there, which will be in the article. And I urge everyone to head over to the article on varmer.com to go read the rest of it um, that'll explain the breakdown of the build that was sent and take a good hard look at their bolt carrier group. Um, again, I don't want to talk about it much in this video. YouTube is being kind of weird. Um, so I'm trying to keep that a separate video. We will have a full video overview of this rifle right here. Coming soon, coming in about a week. Um, that will be a separate video. So, one good thing is that um, KK Industry, they actually have on their website printed out loads where you can start, you know, and you can use their stuff to go ahead and um, get going with it. I went ahead and used the same powder, IMR4198, that I used for my 17 Remington, and then I basically went ahead and um, just upped the loads. And kept going, kept going. And you can see on, well, I already popped the primers, but there, oh, here you go. You can see that right there. There is no pressure on that at all. I could go a lot faster if I wanted to. I just got an accuracy that I was very happy with and stuck with that and went from there. So now let's jump into some pictures and a little bit of video from some hunts. I want you guys to see the performance on this. We will have more again um, in about a week when I release the video on the AGM 
Varmint LRF Thermal Optic, which is an awesome optic. And you guys need to check it out and need to check out that nighttime jackrabbit hunt. So I'm going to roll those right now. Enjoy. Sorry I was a little more talkative, but I wanted to be very detailed on this so you guys get all your questions answered. And of course, if you have any other questions on this, feel free to let them, let them be posted down below and I will try to answer them as quick as I can. Okay, let's jump back in here. Um, I'm going to go over the projectiles I used and their performance. So the 25 grain hollow point you saw before, um, the low that I stuck with, that's the groups in there. I was very happy with that. Um, I could squeeze that better um, if I wanted to, but at the, the time that was perfect for my needs. 39, 32 feet per second gave me the best groups. I could go faster with that, but man, this setup, it didn't matter. So this badger, I'd like to say was really far away, but I actually snuck into him. He was only about 20 feet away. I took him when he came out of the brush. However, this guy was 168 yards away. Um, took that with the Athlon Midas HD uh, optic on there. And then lastly is this coyote. Um, a little bit farther than I normally would be comfortable to shoot with a 17 caliber centerfire. But it did it. did the job. It wasn't clean, but it did the job at 285 yards. So next up was the 15.5 grain NTX, which I explained was for the rabbit hunt. Let me show you my setup for that. So this is the AGM Varmint LRF thermal optic on there. I did put my suppressor on this um, for hunting the jackrabbits. That is the Griffin Optimus Micro, which uh, covers a whole gamut of different cartridges, which is really great. Perfect setup. And my speed on the, uh, the low that I went with was 43, 43.5. Yes, that's only two shots. It's what I needed to know where I was going to be shooting at. And you watch for the shooting stars, which is actually rabbit coming down. Tells you how powerful that is hitting there. You saw these pictures before, but worthwhile seeing them again on the absolute just carnage that these projectiles going at that speed do on these suckers. More to come on these. We will have a full hunt report and a full overview of that AGM Varmint LRF, as well as another video covering the KK Industry AR-15 in this, which they do sell full AR-15s in the 17.556 as well as uppers, etc. Here's the end stream. Go ahead and watch some other videos. If you haven't, please subscribe. Um, YouTube has really clobbered down on gun channels and hunting channels lately. We were shut out for about two months with age restrictions. Um, we're pro producing this one in three different ones to try to get around their requirements, um, make sure that we follow them. So hopefully this goes through and we'll see you over at varmer.com. Thanks for watching.